Hello everyone, I'm Overhaul and today I'll be doing something new and that thing new is called a tier list because apparently they have become extremely popular. So yeah, in this tier list I'm going to be ranking my Hero Academia Class 1A students in terms of combat but and when I say in terms of combat, I mean currently. Like if you had a fight between the students of class 1A, how would they go up against one another or end up against the villains? So yeah. Yeah, this is a list I found Tear Maker. So I decided to do it. And the first one we're gonna be going with is Bakugo. And if I'm being honest, I think Bakugo is currently the strongest member of class 1A. I mean, he defeated Izuku and there was nothing to imply that he couldn't defeat him, him again. And... Well, even though Izuku has those quirks he's going to eventually unlock, so far they're kinda useless. It's more a fact you know about the character. Kinda the same thing as... I don't know, if we found out, oh, Jill's, Jill was, her favorite dance was, um, class, class, was folked or something. It's pointless. So yeah, the next character we're going to be talking about is Uraka. Uraka. Now, she's a lot harder to replace. I know she's nowhere near the ass tier when it comes to the characters, but is she in top A or is she a top B? I'm gonna put her in the not not D. I'm gonna put her in the A for now because really she has done nothing to imply that she is in the strongest. Yes. Next we have Izuku, who is right behind Bakugo, if you ask me. Then we have Shoto, and unfortunately, I would have to rank him below Izuko. I mean, nothing against Todoroki fans, and yes, I'm aware that in the sports festival, Todoroki was able to defeat Izuku and all that. But, the problem with that is is well right now he has been underpowered to say the least i mean during the latest match between class 1a and class 1b he ended up with a draw which substantially and have been defeated while bakugo and izuku didn't only win their fights they also had a 4-0 victory so yeah, that's something, and, and even though I do believe Todoroki is like only like two levels below Bakugo and only one level below Izuku, it's still, I still believe he's the weakest. Next is Kota. Kota. Now here is someone, it's hard. Is he a D or is he a C? A D. Like, nothing against Koda, but so far he hasn't shown anything to imply that he deserves to be higher. Ojiro. I'm gonna place him in C for now. He might be a B, but for now he's a C. And now we have Jiro. Jiro. I will save her for the end because I will probably have a big controversy between her but yeah to easy she's an easy d right behind koda ayama also a d and right behind her kiyashima a quite possibly the strongest of the a class tsuyo i believe no it's not because i prefer ochako why i rank her could be four, but I feel like Ochako would be defeated by Asui. Like it was said, she it was stated by Recovery Girl that she has no clear weakness. 
it's done, it's except for ice, which Oraka can't do anything about. And I'm pretty sure uh, Asui can would be able to defeat her. Then we have Tokoyami, which right now I'm gonna put him behind Kirishima because, well, we don't really know how much he can control, and like, he didn't really prove himself too much. Like, he is powerful. His Dark Shadow, quirk, the Quirk, was able to take down easily an A class villain in the first training camp arc with ease. And that's not a small feat, but it's that's because the Dark Shadow Quirk was increased at night and not, you know, in itself. Plus, I feel like Yasha might be able to like fight through that and break, you know, he would be able to break Tokuy on snap Tokuyami out of it or something. Wait, would Dark Shadow remain if to if Tokoyami would be knocked out? I think Dark Shadow disappears if he's knocked out, yes. Momo. Right now I'm gonna put her in the B. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. To all of you Tok to all of you Momo fans. I wish I could scale her higher and I might do that in the end. I may put her at the bottom of A, but so far. We've only seen her, her in having incredible strategies, which is why she's the why she is in the top. She's the strongest in B. Like whoever come, I would put behind her is no ma would be no match. And and when it comes to her fighting skills, I would say she's one of the weak. She's not the weakest, but, I would, but right after the obvious, I would say it's her. And plus, her equipment, when it comes to deciding on what to use in a combat, doesn't is doesn't really have the best result. I mean, you can you can say what you want about her, like not knowing what to do against Dark Shadow, or uh, she was more focused on her teammates than being Kando, but. You would think that she would be able to... Okay, what I need to do to send my teammates and what I need to do to fight off Kando. So, yeah. Kaminari. I would rank him in the C. Maybe he's the strongest in the C class because... Well, admittedly, he is strong. Soji. B. And easy. Um, Sato, I would say he's the strongest out of the weakest. Which is, that's something, I guess. Now we have Minata, who I would rank... You know what? I think Oda is even weaker than Ariyama, if I'm being honest. I mean, Kora might, could possibly, could knock out Toru and Ayama can... And to Ayama can uh, have an Ayama can blast Koda before, and if Koda fall on Minata, he would knocked out Ida. I would say he is no, no. He's I would say the uh, yeah, that's better. So yeah, I would say that. Ida is behind Tokoyami and Kirishima because even though he is the fastest, he has improved a lot. Again, that whole jamming thing is a problem, and against everyone, and against these two, I feel like he would be defeated. Like, it doesn't matter how many times he hit the two and how much force they would have, I feel like if he had a fight with them, they would win. I mean, a dark almost definitely. Like, I feel like Tokoyami and the dark, when dark shows overboard, he would probably, he is the strongest, but longer. But in the day, yeah, I feel like how even Ida could possibly defeat Tokoyami in the day, but still. Mina. I would say she is right behind Momo when it comes to power and. Saro is the third. 
All right. Now we have Jiro. I would say Jiro is... Uh, good. I would say that Jiro is... Um, here. Let me explain. The reason I put Jiro as the... Se seven? No, the eight? Yeah, eight strongest and right behind Ochako is not just because she's best girl and I'm biased. It's not that. Or I, it's kind of is, but it's not completely. My reasoning for why I put Jiro in the eighth spot is because from what we have seen and it has been stated and confirmed, she has... But she is possibly, from these people, we don't exactly know how their combat abilities vary, the strongest out of them. And the best way for me to explain this, this is by having how she would match, how I see the matchups with every other student. For example, if she fought Bakugo, Bakugo win, easy. Like, there's no debate about it. It's like saying, it's like putting on Nami against Luffy. It's pointless. Izuku again. I, Izuku would dem dominate Jiro. There's no question about it. Tokura, Todoroki also dominate her. Kirishima, uh, a bit more on the iffy side. It more depends if you consider a bit more on the if. Yeah, it's a bit more on the iffy side. It depends more if you consider that Jiro's attacks would be able to be worse than Rapa's punches just when it comes to the host ear thing and if Jiro's ear for jacks would go through the skin because we've seen her being able to go through some really big strong some, for some stone and metal so it depends really how strong to, to Kiyoshima can make his skin Tokoyami again I don't know exactly if the dark shell can be affected by the sound attacks, but I'm pretty sure he can dominate her. Ida can just pium 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 and hit her. And honest to god, I would say she's one of the physically one of the weaker. Also, again, I feel like she would be able to defeat Jiro. Now we're too big of a problem because of the whole hopping thing and the whole you know, the whole camouflage. So I do feel like Jiro, that also would be able to feed Jiro. Then we have Ochako. Now, the reason why I put Ochako is, is because all of Ochako's attacks, all of her main arsenals, rely on her being up close and personal. For example, her gravity, she needs to to be there and touch and touch you. Her martial arts, she needs to be there and you know use it on you. But Jiro is a long range attacker. So unless if Ochako gets the drop on her, she has a very low chance of beating her. Beating her. And then we have the long range attacks that Jiro has. I feel like she's there to be a mid range fighter, but she is long range. I mean, we've seen the blast. For example, if she uses her float ability on herself and starts floating up, Jiro can use those detachments she has on her wrist and she can go there and <clears throat> blast her and have that shock which seems to be freakishly powerful if we can see how easily defeated that class 1b student with it so yeah and even if you don't want to say that that uraka would have still the advantage then we have those attacks on her boots which i believe were like half the size of present mics and the distance and the size of them was like huge I feel like it was like, I think it was like around the Dathnorad building size. 
if I remember how it was animated and drawn correctly. Yeah, I think it was around half of a skyscraper. Scripter. So yeah. I would so yeah, I feel like Jill would be able to. So unless if like they are in a place when Jill and Oyaka is able to get a sneak attack before before Jill can hear it with her info jacks, I feel like Jill can beat her. Then you, also if you can so yeah. Then we have Momo. Physically I would say they are pop but I would say they are physically match. Like, both of them are equal when it comes to that level of fighting capability. But the difference is, Jill, that Momo needs to make her protections. And even though she has those, you know, those, uh, she can make herself those ear, those uh, headphones. I feel like Jill's, that those attacks that Jill has are physically damaging. For example, again, that attack she used against that guy. That attack did seem to have a lot of blast energy and she was able to crumble stone with it. So I would say she would be able to get passed by the whole headphones thing. Plus, I feel like that was kind of ridiculous to imagine that all headphones are able to dish, are able to say, Oh, you may have a super strong sound attack. I feel like you would be able to bypass that. Then we have Mina. Now again, she's one of these more debatable. Like the reason, the main reason I would say uh, Joe would probably have a chance to win this, even though I feel like she Mina would have a chance to beat her because of the whole speed thing. And honestly, uh, Joe doesn't seem to be that faster than an average person. Is the fact that Joe is a lot smarter than Mina, and Mina's strategies are very simple. So I feel like Joe would be able to outmaneuver over her. For example, the attack and Joe uses that whole asset uh, increasing speed thing. She would put her info jacks in the ground and psh, shake everything, and then Joe and then Momo would just Mina would just fall, and then Joe would just face her off with her attacks. So yeah, then we have Shoji. He's again very the. Baitable, but I feel like she could again take him down because the whole long range and I do feel think that Jiro's attacks would be Would attack Soji before Soji could extend his arms to take her down and Again if he makes multiple ears Jiro's evil jokes would beat him Then we have Kaminari who Joe has, although Joe does acknowledge that his quirk is freakishly powerful, which is fine considering how much she teases him. But again, I feel like she could handle him. Again, the whole sound attack, which does lightning travel faster than sound? I think sound does travel faster, but yeah, anyways. I think that she would know how to beat Kaminari. She would find a way to outsmart him. Or Gio. Again, she could probably hear them, and though Gio, or Gio's movements are fast, and he is extremely deaf in martial arts, again, I feel like she would find out a way to beat him, and the whole things with the extensions and the ground and all. So, he's a little bit more tricky, because honest to god, if you kind of look at it, he could probably defeat Ochako and Tsuyo if he uses his tape. So yeah. You would think Sarah's tape would be quick, but again, I feel like Joe's quirk would be faster than G Sarah's tape. For example, he sets the tape and it nearly reaches her, but then her, but her sound attacks would reach him f before, but ah, ah, and the tape would fall. Sato, honest to God, the only thing Joe needs to do is to dodge him while he uses his quirk and he becomes dumb, and then again, she can easily defeat him by that. And again, he's also a brute fighter up close and personal, and honestly, all brute fighters are debatable if, if Joe could not beat them because of the whole long range sound attacks. Then we have Aoyam, again a long range attacker, and I feel like Joe would be able to dodge his attacks, and she would be able to just use her quirk. Or she could just use her quirk to destroy the ground and just, and get Aoyama to fall. 
Koda, I feel like Koda would, Joe would be able to beat Koda, like, even though Koda is stronger than her physically, I, again, what would he do? I mean, he can call out for birds, but honestly, honestly, Koda always kind of admit that every animal he calls, except if they're insects, he's in disadvantage because, I mean, really, because against Pazat Malik, he said that the sound attack would scare the birds away and Joe's kind of the same way, so yeah. Minata! Honestly, just what I could totally imagine her just breaking Minata down, like, in a fight. I mean, I kind of wish there would be like a chapter of or something with Minata in which he'll be like, oh, I can fight, I'm gonna face, oh, maybe I'm gonna uh, face so, some of the females so he could jump on their boobs or something to pretend like he's fine, but in, but in reality, he gets placed with Joe, and then he, like, very obviously, they admits that he kind of was just hoping to jump on the women, and then Joe would just, like, knock him into submission. And Toro, her greatest act, attribute is her invisibility, which Jill kind of bypasses by the fact she can constantly hear everything. And I do believe Thor was at least stated or shown, or at least implied to be physically weaker than Jiro, so yeah. I think that except for the, ma the monster tree of Class 1A, and then people like Hiroshima, Tokoyami, Lida, Asui, Jiro is probably the strongest. I mean, I guess maybe you can argue with some, with Ochako, Momo, Ashido, but honestly, I feel like she is the, she is the eighth strongest person. So yeah. Anyways, I hope you, you liked this video. I hope you're gonna, gonna leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. And tell me in the comments below, do you think, how would you rank class 1A? Hey, right. And that's it, I can't wait to see all of you people next time. Bye.